Well hello everyone and welcome to a very somber episode of Wild Your Garden and in this video I'm sad to say I have witnessed firsthand some of the destruction of the local wildfires that are here to North Norfolk where I'm working at the moment but of course the wildfires we are seeing about on the news all around Europe and indeed some parts of the world as well but predominantly in Europe at the moment um, really are an eye-opening experience and I've not personally seen any of them up close but driving into this part of Norfolk yesterday I saw at least two wildfires and fire engines going past on the main road so a really sombering moment where I mean I never thought that there would be such things as wildfires in the UK I mean I know they have happened before I know they do happen but the fact that we've just hit uh, we've just broken all our records since time began in terms of measuring the temperature here in the UK. We've hit 40.3 degrees in Lincolnshire, my home county, where it was sort of tied with many other places around the country that hit that temperature level, which is just stiflingly hot. And of course, because of those temperatures, a lot of the already really dry conditions. We've had hardly any rain here for the last couple of months here in the UK. So that those you know twinned together have meant that there have been fires breaking out all across the uk we've had some really bad ones in the south in london they've been up here in norfolk further up in yorkshire as well so it's not just an isolated incident i'm afraid and this is just one of the many many fires that we've had here in the uk a little bit further west from where i am at the moment there is wild ken hill which is a nature reserve that has been used by um, spring watch the bbc's tv series over the last couple of years to host the series which is an absolutely incredible amazing habitat for wildlife you know the wetlands and the sort of the um, the coastal site that is there is absolutely abundant with wildlife and currently there are fires raging through it and destroying hundreds of acres of habitat so it's absolutely heartbreaking to see and I couldn't help but stop and want to document this what I think is a very um, critical moment in uh, in our history it's for me as I say I never ever thought that I would see the devastation of wildfires like this now the field that I'm in at the moment is about 24, 25 acres, something like that. And right down this side, the reason I stopped, by the way, you see that tree over there. And I'm sorry, by the way, for the feel of this video. It's not the usual, obviously, um, happy, upbeat videos that I like to produce to give you guys all the inspiration you need to um, make habitats for wildlife in your garden. But I, it's one of those moments I just thought, I have to document this because you know it's it's pivotal i think in um in how things are going with the world and who knows somebody might look back on this and think in 50 years or oh, well that was that was a turning point that's when we had a chance to do something anyway i can't <laughs> um think too far into the future at the moment the, the, the fact is it's here and it's now and this is one of the uh, consequences of climate change anyway back to this tree that's what made me stop because there's almost a line right across the tree where it's green on the top and brown beneath and I thought it looks like it's been burnt and funnily enough I just pulled into the entrance there and you can see the, the devastation this field and the hedgerow that runs alongside it is completely torched um, just everything's been so dry here for the last couple of months we've had no rain whatsoever hardly which meant everything is tinder dry and you can see the devastation down there and it just goes on and on and on and this is one 25 acre field and this is just one of many there's fields the other side of this where there is an equal amount of damage the trees have all been burnt out the hedgerows and you know this really is um, an important message I think because it's not only the wildlife obviously this is the well-being of the farmer that owns this field and you know this affects everybody this just this one field you know it really is key to understanding how dependent we are on the natural world the natural world resources to provide food for ourselves and you know if we lose a site like this that's fine you might think well okay there's thousands of other acres around you what are you worried about well it's the fact that it's happened here and I know 
you know quite often it's easy for us to kind of put blinkers on and not think about what's going on elsewhere in the world because it's not happening on our doorstep and you know therefore it doesn't concern us but it really really does and and i'm not saying it's taken that for me to listen to what's happening with the wildfires that are all blazing throughout spain italy and france at the moment and we are losing thousands and thousands of acres of habitat for wildlife and you know just this one field alone i know it might be only a wheat field but you know when you think about the associated insects that might be coming through here which swallows then might be eating on the wing you'll have the margins the sort of shrubby scrubby areas where you'll have things like rabbits and hares which will be providing food for all manner of animals you know sort of badgers foxes hedgehogs potentially you know you'll have voles as well in the edges of the field which will be providing food for kestrels um you know anything that that is going to hunt through these margins barn owls as well little owls um, which predominantly will be eating sort of beetles and worms but they'll be nesting in some of the trees there's a big ash tree there or a decent sized one a couple of ash trees which are just now brown whether they'll come back from um you know the the the, the heat the sheer, sheer heat which has obviously not burnt the trees completely um i suspect they probably will but it's what was in those um cavities what was roosting in there what couldn't get away in time um you know and that's without mentioning all the myriad of insects that will be using these trees and shrubs you know the berries that would have probably been produced on these hawthorns to provide food for um, our visiting um, thrushes in the winter species such as the field fair red wing wax wing more blackbirds obviously that come from the continent in the winter months um, so just in this one little patch you've got an ecosystem within itself which you know by losing this field and losing a lot of the habitat and as i say this this side seems to be a lot worse than the other side of the field it's you know you've lost nesting potential and i know we're late in the season it's the middle of july now most things will have finished breeding unless they're having two or three broods um and you can still hear the yellow hammers in the background which is a positive sign but i just wanted to show you the extent um and, and my first experience first um, first hand experience of what has been happening here in the UK um, as I say I'm sorry this isn't the usual upbeat video that I normally produce or one of them um, but I thought it very important to document because for those of you out there that are climate change deniers um, the fact that we've had so many hot uh, you know a lot of the record-breaking temperatures actually that we've had particularly here in the uk have happened in the last 10 years so it goes to show the climate is warming we are facing um an ecological um crisis we really are a climate crisis as well because you know as the as the um as the earth warms many species are pushed further north the ice caps are melting and i don't need to explain all that um so david attenborough and many other people scientists have been warning us about it for years but this is this is a real effect of what is happening to our planet so the answer well i don't think anybody has the sole answer to all of this but it's not all doom and gloom is what i would say you know um you know there are ways we can help there are ways we can help cool the areas around where we live one of them is have a wildlife pond believe it or not you know water bodies are cool places generally speaking the area around them stays damp cool so they are very good i know you can't have a pond in the whole of this field we still have to produce food to eat um, but by planting more trees you're helping keep the ground shaded and another thing that i've noticed recently that i've really really frustrated me was councils the amount of councils we've just had 40 degree heat and there's councils sending guys and women out there mowing and strimming grass that is just brown it's already half dead and there's about that much growth on it if that some of them are you know the areas that i've seen are barely an inch or two long and we are using fuel and resources to cut and strim these areas making the ground you know even more baked and hotter because there's no vegetation there it's just madness so we need to be managing our green spaces better and we need to be um you know planting more trees to keep, help shade and keep the ground cooler making more water bodies there are many many things i'm not saying this is the sole solution to climate change obviously there are many many factors at play here but just a little piece of 
My experience of what is going on here in the UK, for those of you watching this outside of the UK and haven't perhaps heard about the devastation we are facing at the moment. So I won't make this video any longer than it needs to be because yes, it's not too pleasant to see, but I thought I would document it. And thank you very much for watching guys. I promise to have some more uplifting content very, very soon. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Obviously let me know if you've had any experiences like this anywhere around the world and how you've seen you know, um, habitats bounce back because they can, I ought to end with that. Habitats can bounce back from um, you know, fires rampaging through them. You see it in California, many places around the world where wildfires actually help with the regeneration. Um, Australia as well with lots and lots of species of plants and therefore insects and everything else. So. They're not always a bad thing, but this is just one of the experiences, one of my first experiences with a wildfire and um, documenting it for you guys. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a like and I'll be sure to bring you many more videos on all the ways in which you can help wildlife in videos to come. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.